A capper here, September 26, 2017. Big day today. I'm going to pick up the dump truck right now. Hopefully I'm not in sticker shock again, but this guy is really good. He used to work for GM, now he's got his own shop. Um, needed a new shifter lever cable, needed wiper blade motor, that quit. It needed uh, the parking brake, and he was doing the cam crankshaft relearn. A couple guys mentioned that throughout this whole series of the dump trucks. I think it was Grime. Grime something or other, 5470. So he's trying that and he did some other troubleshooting, but, and today is the launch for Carbon TV. So I'll probably put a separate vid on for that, but stay tuned and we'll see the dump truck here in a minute. Okay, so here we are. I got the truck and all looks good and I turn it on and the battery light stuck on. Um, so Scotty, he's coming, he put his uh, high-tech computer on there and he said the computer's actually showing no error, that it's showing the light should be off. So uh, we're looking at what we're going to do with that. I'm telling you this thing has a ghost in it. But the bill was super, super reasonable. I wish I'd have found this guy way before I took it to GM. All right, update on the truck. I went to leave, the battery light was stuck on, I told you that, but then now none of the dash lights are working. Reverse drive, the tow haul, engine lights, none of that comes on. So I started troubleshooting it. When you turn the key, just a quarter turn, they all come on, and then when you turn it all the way, they all quit. So I'm killing time, and I just got crapped on by a bird right there. Can you believe that? and then when you turn it all the way they all quit so I'm kidding and then when you turn it all the way they all quit so I'm kidding you turn it all the way they all quit so I'm killing time and I just got crapped on by a bird right there can you believe that seriously Anyways, I'm just killing time. Let them troubleshoot a little more. We're hoping it's just a fuse or something, so stay tuned. Yeah, it's a bird crap. Uh, it's a bunch of weeds and bugs, and it feels nasty. What's up with that? Okay, I'll try the city bench here. Make sure there ain't nobody hanging around up top now. All right, listen to the city square bells ring. Got a brief update for you guys. Okay, as I was finishing that last, last video clip, he called me and everything's working fine now. He found out the fuse and he went to check the fuse. He didn't even touch it and everything's working now fine. And he pulled the fuse then and checked it and it was fine. So I'm gonna take the truck, keep an eye on it, but it's one of them ghost issues again. The capper ghosts are coming, coming to haunt the old Chevy truck, so stay tuned, man. We're going to rock and roll. Okay, so I got the dump truck back home, and she is ready to go. Just about everything in the moving parts, the fuel system, the ignition is almost all brand new. So she should be a solid truck, and we're going to get it back to work here. So I had the shifter lever cable replaced, the parking brake shoes the windshield wiper motor. He did some troubleshooting on the check engine light and couldn't he couldn't even get it to turn on. So I had him do that camshaft relearn based on someone's suggestion and it did not work. But it didn't hurt anything either. And the trailer brakes. He had to change a wire on the, uh, the brake controller where it plugs under the dashboard. So... It is in tip-top shape right now, except for that flashing engine light, which I'm ignoring because in talking to another GM specialist, if it's a yellow flashing engine like that, ghost codes, it's really not going to hurt anything. If it was red flashing, that would be a different story. So anyway, stay tuned for more dump truck videos. I have to get some money back out of it, just on my own farm, but the more dirt I move, 
the more money I'll save where I didn't have to hire someone to move it. So stay tuned. And also, if you would, check out some of the links below if you haven't yet for the launch of our channel on CarbonTV.com. It's another streaming website just like YouTube. And if you click on any of the links below and you sign up to follow us, we get some extra credit. So stay tuned. I appreciate the support, and I have a lot more stuff on the radar.